Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will learn about volume displacement in Blender and how one can create really cool artworks with the help of volume displacement and provided with a bunch of possibilities expected. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. First of all, uh, get rid of the light and the default cube. After that, go to file and uh, import a 3D head mesh into the viewport. Select the head mesh, go to its object properties and under transform change the x axis location from 90 degrees to 0 and uh, the z axis location to 180 degrees decrease the scale value to 0.1 make sure that uh, the 3d mesh or the 3d face is facing towards the front now right click and set the origin to geometry to origin press 0 on your numpad key to go for the camera view select the camera and under object data properties change the type from perspective to orthographic Now adjust the orthographic scale of the camera and move it closer to the 3D face. Under object properties, make a few changes to the location and the rotation values of the camera. Since the scene will look more better in cycles render, so head over to the render properties and change the render engine from EV to cycles. Select the device from CPU to GPU for faster render and change the number of maximum samples for viewport to 32 and for the render to 150. Under color management, change the look to very high contrast and uh, in world properties, reduce the color to all the way black. Now to make the volume displacement work, press shift plus A and uh, add an empty volume into the viewport. Make sure the volume is selected, go to the modifier properties and uh, Add a mesh to volume modifier. Select the object which you want to convert to the volume. So in this condition, we will select the 3D head. The density here makes sure how dense the volume will look. And the interior bandwidth refers to how hard or soft the volume will look now we will select the resol resolution to voxel amount and uh, increasing the voxel amount will increase the number of poly counts so we will change the voxel amount uh, to something around 150 but you can increase or decrease the voxel amount value depending upon your choice now we will add one more modifier that is the volume displace modifier press new to add a new texture but before moving hide the 3d mesh from the viewport and the render now as you can see that uh, a volume which is almost same to the shape of the 3d head 
is present in the viewport now as you can see with the interior bandwidth we can make sure how hard or soft the volume will actually look so we will set this to default now under volume displacement change the strength of the displacement to 0.15 and uh, for texture for texture sampling increase the sample value to 10 now we will reduce the mid level value for x y and z axis to 0 degree after that click on the on the textures tab menu and uh, select a type of texture of your choice now for the tutorial purpose i will go with the distorted noise texture now as you can see that uh, the volume is actually displaced here but we need to convert it to mesh to make it look more better add a mesh 3d mesh of your choice and uh, i will go with the icosphere icosphere mesh now make sure that the icosphere mesh is moved far away from your camera view select the icosphere and uh, add a volume to mesh modifier select the object which you want to convert to mesh after that hide the vol volume in viewport and uh, camera now select the icosphere and reduce the threshold amount to get a more detailed kind of a look increase the adaptivity to 0.3 to get some randomized look and click on smooth shading to smooth out the edges now for a more dense look go to volume and uh, increase the voxel amount to you can increase the voxel amount to make 3d mesh look more dense now under textures tab change the noise type to voronoi crackle and the distortion to voronoi f2 f2 now we will need to add some light to the scene so press shift plus a and uh, add an area light to the scene move the area light upwards in z-axis then under object data properties increase the power of the area light and change the shape to disk and increase the size in such a way that it spreads over to the 3d face now head over to the rendered view to get a preview of the scene press ctrl plus b and drag to select the render region if you want the 3d mesh to look more dense head over to shader editor and add some material to the scene select the icosphere and press new to add a new material to give the 3d mesh an organic kind of a look under subsurface increase the subsurface width to 0.35 and increase the scale value to 3 also make a few adjustment to the radius to give a organic material of your choice now head over to the rendered view to get a preview of the scene after you are done, click on the render image button to render out the image. Now after the image is rendered, click on image 
and save it to a desired location on your computer thank you so much to everyone for watching the video hope you all learned something new to see you all guys in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning